So you've heard of Rar and Co. Stew and Go, but have you heard of Rad Stew? The most badass coolest stew your ass will ever have. See these carrots? Fuck carrots. Our stew is made from the corpses of irradiated bears and our flagship ingredient, Rad Fungus. So stop having a boring life, stop having a boring stew. Rad Stew. Hello and welcome back to Rad World. That's it. This is gonna be great. Now I came up with a great idea because you know last episode we obviously sorted out our uh, slight power issue we had. We now have uh, a lot of a lot of power, so everything is going to be okay from now on. Um, we're gonna make Rad Stew. I mean, uh, sorry, Rad Stew. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty much the plan. Uh, first thing we got to deal with, though, we have a psychic suppressor, which is making all my female colonists useless. Okay, 1.2 days to get there. We'll take three people. The two PPSH boys and the 12.7 millimeter agitator. Probably just need, yeah, just 19 package survival mills will do the trick, guys. Go out on an adventure and see if you can uh, not screw it up, please. I do not want to die. Anyway, back on the front of making stew. We don't actually have anyone good enough yet to make stew. But hopefully soon, TM. Oh, no. My guest died of infection. All right, we've arrived inside this cave. I'm guessing that's where the psychic suppressor is. We've got one guy. We've got two guys with an axe, three guys with axes. So we should be okay because we have um, submachine guns. So if we lose to this, I'm probably just going to quit playing RimWorld. All right, get him, boys. Come at me. Come on. Come and fight me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. They did try and fight me, and he got shot a lot. That's oh, two women who are also dealing with the effects of the suppressor. Man, those PPSH is absolutely shred. Holy crap. Uh, it's not in here. All right, I'll tell you what. I think I've come up with a pro idea because uh, I'm a pro gamer. Instead of spending bloody ages looking for it, let's uh, let's settle on the psychic suppressor. Go, 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 go. And, th and then we just abandoned it. Boom, it's gone. Oh, I am truly the pro gamer here. Only on this channel do you get the pro gamer strats like that. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I spoil you guys with my knowledge. Uh, our brave heroes have returned? Uh, what the hell just happened to the map? Why do things keep breaking today? I don't know. We got a load of golden rats sent by Phoebe herself, I guess. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with them. I guess we can start like a golden rat room. How cool will that be? Oh, they're straight to eating all my uh, rad fungus. Unbelievable. Right, let's move all the rats in there. And that's where they can uh, live from now on. Oh, uh, right. We need to go shoot some more animals. There's a bear up there. We'll go hunt that. Two PPSHs versus bear. The, the PPSH is definitely one. Look at these little golden guys. Oh, they're so happy. Oh, wow. I feel kind of bad now. That bear had a bad back. <laughs> Maybe feeding the elderly to the rats isn't the right way. Ooh, raid. Raid from insects. All right, get a little bit of damage out there and then retreat back. Jesus, man. These PPSHs are lit. Oh, they just don't have a chance. Oh, what a shame. You're dead. I'm not. Oh, there's a wild woman here. Uh, sure, we'll try and tame her. <laughs> Maybe I won't be recruiting this poor wild woman. She keeps running around eating all my rad fungus, but she's giving her radiation poisoning. To come back here without rad fungus is not going to do you any good. I promise. Don't eat it. Off, eat, eat my rad fungus. <laughs> Don't do it. You've given yourself minor radiation poisoning. Now you've got moderate radiation poisoning. Why are we trying to tame someone with rad fungus? We've given the poor woman serious radiation poisoning. Hey, look, I told you don't eat the rad fungus, all right? Wasn't a good idea now, was it? Now you've got extreme radiation poisoning. Oh, now she's mutated. She's now got a reduced stomach. Maybe we should keep her alive. We should keep her alive for experiments. That sounds awful, but I'm interested to see how the mod works. <laughs> I'm not a bad person, all right? This is for science. All right, hear me out on this. Uh, we're going to research napalm. I think napalm is going to be fantastic for defense because we've got very narrow corridors, right? So what I'm thinking is, say raiders come from the north, you know, if we just put a layer of napalm all up here, um, we'll be good. That should do the trick. So if raiders come from the north, a little bit of the click, and then job done. Oh, God, the prisoner has mutated again. 
Uh, she has uh, extra arm. So yeah, we had a re-socialization offer from her. She has now joined us. Even though she has extreme radiation exposure, um, which has led to enlarged ears, an extra arm, reduced stomach, and a deformed lung, we, we, we've got her. She's on our side now. <laughs> All right, just have an idea. We're, uh, since we don't actually have a cook that can make rad stew yet, we're going to start off with rad stir fry. Friedrich has 11 cooking, so we can, uh, we, we can just start with doing stir fry for the time being, and then we'll make our way up to rad stew once he gets there. <laughs> Look. Look at that rad stir fry. It's a radiated bear meat and rad fungus. Only the coolest ingredients you can use. Hey, look at that. We finally found the other half of the map. And it looks pretty empty. Um Ah, there's some more steel down here. This is this is this is fantastic. We like that. I was kind of expecting to have to go in there and shoot a load of wildlife, but um yeah, I don't. So that's pretty cool. Oh my god, an actual raid. Uh, 12 raid. <gasps> They're coming from the north. All right. Are you ready for this? We bait them in a little bit. The turret's online. Ah, that... Well, they actually punched the... Oh, <laughs> they actually punched the barrel themselves. Oh, no. One got through. That did not go as well as I thought that would go. Um, I don't know what that radio mega spider's doing. But sure. I mean, it's kind of working. They keep running back in the fire and getting burned. Oh, oh God. There's the other one. The other ones are snuck in here. Do not smash that crude cracker. <laughs> All the oil well. No. Oh, what have you done? Oh, you, you goddamn idiots. That's not going to achieve anything. All right, well, I guess that didn't go terribly. It could have gone a lot better, but it didn't go terribly. Uh, a distress signal was picked up in Foyos at a nearby vault that has recently opened by the Supreme Hive. Let's do it. All right, obviously take the three people who have radiation suits. Otherwise, uh, might have a few problems. Mate, we do not need to give them 37 bowls of stir fry. Are you mad? Um, Wow, that's a lot of rats just got the flu. I feel like in about 20 minutes time, we're going to have a lot of dead rats. Yeah, let's please not use any medicine on any of these rats. I can't afford it. It cost me way too much. At least my people are almost at the vault. Come on, you're almost there. Oh, here we are. Looks like the boys finally made it to the vault. Um, Jerry's straight on. I don't know what Jerry's doing. He's gone. He is. He is straight out on a mission. Well, let's see what we've got in here then. Oh wow, it's made of plastic. Jesus. All right, boys, pun it open. See what we got. Oh Jesus Christ! This turrets and everything okay i was not expecting that i guess we're just gonna have to destroy the turrets unless we maybe we can mine in this way oh god there's a turret in there as well why is there a turret in the middle of the kitchen let's uh deconstruct this wall see what's behind here now we need to destroy the power source of the turrets and then we should be okay ah here we are right let's claim all of these claim all of these uh i guess the best way to probably do this would just be to let's uh uninstall all the batteries and we'll flick all of these off Ha <laughs> ha! They've been defeated. The turrets are offline now, baby. Oh, man. I am... These are just next level strats, honestly. Man, I should just move here. This has got everything. Uh, oh, my God. Medicine, silver, machine guns. Man, I'm seriously considering just moving here. I reckon we just move here. I think that's... I think that's the, pl I think that's the game plan. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to do. I'm stuck between moving here and having, like, everything we need. And uh, or, or losing what we've built already. I want to just, like take the fabrication bench with me i want to just take all of this stuff okay so we have basically 150 kilos which we can take with us we'll take the multi-analyzer that's a no-brainer mm, that's so annoying there's so much stuff here that i wanted i could have i wanted to just move here whatever we'll leave it we've got a load of stuff let's get these boys back at least we stole some good stuff we've got a multi-analyzer which i think is pretty good that's a pretty good hole it was so tempting just to move up you know just abandon all of this and move up but i don't think i can quite just abandon this place <laughs> this place means so much to us we've done so much here ah there they go now they're starting to die from the flu really i get raided just after they have a fight you serious oh man this guy is having yeah he just had a real bad day he is also dead no my rat fungus what the fuck guys you know what? If they keep running at us one by one like this, this is going to be okay. All right, here comes their best shot. All right, he did not do very well either. Uh, and he... Oh, he's down, actually. Oh, he's not even that bad of a person. Go rescue Artyom. <laughs> Man, they're having such a bad time. Maybe keep Greg alive, maybe. I don't know. Greg's dead. 
Okay, well, we got one prisoner, so it counts. And they burnt my goddamn rat fungus. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> the one thing I love in this world, and you've just got to ruin it. A uh, bug queen has spawned? Sorry, what? Oh, oh, oh no. When did this infestation pop up? Well, I guess we better come and deal with this. I'm so glad that pop-up was there. Otherwise, I would have never spotted that. And then we might have actually had a pretty dangerous hive to deal with. That's what I love about better infestations. You're just sat there thinking, oh, everything's going fine. And then all of a sudden, a hive is building up somewhere on the map and you don't even realize. I think I underestimated how much stir fry this man has to cook. I think he pretty much gets 100 experience every four stir fry he cooks. So, uh... This, this might take a while <laughs> before we can start making stew. Well, I guess it's time we go out and murder a lot of animals. <laughs> Hi-ho, hi-ho. Time to go and shoot anything that moves. Uh, Warg 1 is having a heart attack? Ah, who's my doctor? Get over there and save my walk. Oh, we don't have a bed for it. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, animal sleeping spot. Save the walk. Poor man's having a heart attack. Oh. Okay, it died. Oh, well. We'll turn that into stir fry. Not the end of the world. Oh, look at this. Under Cook and Expanded, there's actually a different type of stew. Is this cheating? What? Is, is, is this technically cheating? Is this not making the uh, original OG stew? I don't know. Well, I might, I might count it. I, I, <laughs> if I have to make any more goddamn bowls of stir fry, we're up to 190 bowls. I feel like we're going to need like a thousand. Uh, fine stew. So you can have simple stew, fine stew, and lavish stew. Lavish stew. Oh, it only requires eight cooking. Oh, this is so much better than trying to make up to 15 cooking for the, I guess, original OG stew. I don't know. We'll prepare one lavish stew just, just for the memes. Oh, wait, man. We need to go We need to go kill some more animals. We, uh, we're out of meat. All right, here we go. He's making the lavish stew. And then I guess we got to uh, throw it on the uh, stew cooker down here. I'm also going to start the research for Rim Atomics. I think that's, uh, I think that's a smart idea. Ah, there we are. Rim Atomics. Fantastic. Uh, not really sure what we could do with that for the time being, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. Oh, man. He actually loses experience so quickly. <laughs> this is so depressing. His whole job is just making stir fries until he can master the arts of the stew. Problem is, I could probably build the uh, Rim Atomics research bench and stuff, but I don't really see the point. I only have 227 silver and those researchers cost, you know, they cost stuff. Oh, a lavish stew is ready for pickup. Yeah, look at that. We've got stew, kind of. Yeah, look at that lavish stew. It's going to be great. Well, I guess that's, uh, we'll, we'll count that as a half complete meme. I think in the meantime, though, uh, I think it's time to go do some trading. Because if we're going to need silver for Rim Atomics, and we also have about 31 t-shirts lying around from uh, all the... All, all the animals I genocided for uh, stir fry purposes. They're taking the stew with them? Outrageous! They're taking seven stew and 29 stir fry? Why are they taking so much food? Where are you going? Just down the road. You're not going to fucking Narnia or something. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, as soon as they got out, she went on a sad wander. So, fuck knows what the plan with that is now. I'm sure she'll be all right. As long as she wanders in the right direction, we won't have any issues. Right. Hello, gentlemen. I'm here to... Wow, they're selling a lot of bears. And crabs. They're selling crabs? Who has fucking crabs in the apocalypse? What? What, what else can we buy from here? Because, you know, the two cooking skill trainers might push us over the 15. That would be perfect. Ah, uh, so we have 983 silver. I'd eat the rest of my silver, but for the sake of a meme, I am going to buy a crab. Why not? Do crabs... Do, like, crabs breed? Is that a thing? Can we breed crabs? Can we become a crab farmer? I have no idea. Let's uh, let's just buy two crabs. <laughs> Off we go. I'm a crab man. <laughs> you know what? That probably isn't the best thing to be saying. You know what? We don't even need this comms console. Let's be honest. No one's going to talk to us. And he... Oh, son of a bitch. The caravan's come back. It obviously it ruins the map for some reason. They've already put it in the uh, warehouse. All right, there's one skill trainer. He's level 15. He's done it. I didn't realize they were given that much experience. Oh, this is fantastic. Right, go and make some proper stew. Some OG stew. Uh, go. Uh, uh no, don't. Oh, God, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons now. I'm shaking. I'm, the anxiety is real. We're almost there, baby. Just chop that bear up. And then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll turn it into stew. And then, I, then I've done it. I've made it in life. I've completed my journey. 
and transcended into the- No, this isn't the right time to get married. Fuck you and your marriage. I want stew. Okay, just go make some stew before the marriage ceremony, all right? Let's, you know, we'll come back to it in a minute. Oh, he's going to miss it. Dump the stew. Go to the marriage. Go to the marriage. Cool, he made it. He made it in time. That's fine. There we go. They can celebrate now by eating some luxury stew. I mean, we got crabs now. This is fantastic. I thought that would be something I thought I'd never say. Um, they're celebrating in the generator room. It's it's a beautiful day. What a beautiful day it is. What a great time to end this episode as well, I think. I think, yeah. I think this is a really nice, you know, ending for a change rather than me dying or doing something stupid. So, um, yeah, I appreciate all of you watching. And uh, take care of yourselves. I love you all. And I will see you again in the future. Oh, uh, one last thing. I've uh, finally decided to open a Patreon so my wonderful supporters can uh, pay my mortgage. I mean, um, su support the channel. Uh... But yeah, if anyone wants to do that, I'll, I'll appreciate you a lot. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the future.